Onorevole Deli ha facoltà di replicare. Thanks, Holly. I would love colleague Jambaski to tell me any circumstance in which NATO has played a productive role or delivered peace anywhere. History has taught us that sanctions do not end military conflicts, they do not bring peace. They make the people suffer, not the oligarchs, the people, the people of Russia, the people of Europe. And they're not going to help save lives because the more arms you pump into Ukraine, the more the war will be prolonged, the more Ukrainians can, will die. And it might sound radical, colleagues, but the answer to war is not more war, it's peace. And peace isn't delivered by the barrel of a gun, it's delivered by diplomacy, by dialogue. You can wish away your continent's history, but we share a continent with Russia. We will sit down with Russia. There will be a negotiated peace, and this organization should be promoting it earlier rather than delaying it and making sure that more Ukrainians die. Your feigning of sympathy rings hollow. It makes me sick, to be honest with you. Grazie. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm afraid, Mrs. Daly, we've given you the opportunity to reply. So let us try and stay calm. And this is what is expensive, because in these peak demands, the expensive gas comes into the market. So what we have to do is flatten the curve and uh, avoid the peak demands. We will propose a mandatory target for reducing electricity use at peak hours, and we will work very closely with the member states to achieve this. So, the woman in the first video is Irish politician Claire Daly. Uh, she's an MP at the EU Parliament, and she's talking to some NATO guy. And the second woman is our friend Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the EU Commission. They are calling time on the worsening energy crisis. Dozens of people in Italy burn their gas and electricity bills in protest of skyrocketing costs that they say they simply cannot afford. We don't want to pay for their war and their crisis. Beyond energy bills, we will starve to death because we won't be able to put food on the table for our sons. It's scandalous how everything has increased. So the sanctions, I mean, Dale is right that sanctions never worked uh, to remove people from power. They didn't work against the dam, they didn't work in Cuba, and they are obviously not working in Russia either, at least not to remove Putin. They are only making life in Europe worse for Europeans. Maybe that's the point. Maybe they want to make Europeans poorer. It feels more like a child's tantrum. Oh, I'm not going to eat my dinner. Okay, go hungry then. I mean, uh, you know, you don't want gas? Okay, uh, Russia is going to sell it to someone else who wants it. And I was watching this video by this, uh, this cute Russian girl, a lie from Russia, and she is doing interviews with different people. And it doesn't seem that the sanctions affected all that much uh, life in Russia. I mean, People live normal lives and the situation seems pretty good. Maybe it depends on where you are. The salaries are uh, maybe a bit lower than the European average, but uh, actually in some places such as Moscow, there seems to be higher. So the situation doesn't seem to be bad. And you don't seem to see a lot of poverty around. Looking at the videos of the Donbass area, that seems like a pretty poor region. And uh, I think that it seems to have been neglected. Even before the war, it seems to be a pretty poor, degraded region. But Russia is, I don't know, I, of course, I, I've never been to Russia and I cannot say that I know it in detail, but it seems to be that people are living normal lives and the sections didn't change that too much. 
Ну, если брать журналистику и медиа, то сейчас денег немного, сами, да, знаем почему. Наверное, где-то будет 40-50, но если ты на должности выше, если ты подрабатываешь на фрилансе, то в целом ты, я думаю, ну, 100 можешь делать, если ты уже где-то зарекомендовал себя. А я работаю маркетологом. Я, наверное, могу только сказать по поводу маркетинга, да. Скорее всего, будет разбег от 60, и чем ваша позиция будет выше, то чем больше вы имеете возможность зарабатывать. Ну, тысяч 40, получается 45. Хорошая, Александр, хорошая. Не дадим, Семеныч, Европе замерзнуть. Поможем нашим братьям. Может, и они когда-то нам помогут. So why? Why do they want to make Europeans poorer? Because of a country that doesn't really matter to them. I mean, I don't think that the average person in Europe, in Western Europe, I don't think it matters to them whether uh, the Donbass area belongs to Russia or it belongs to Ukraine. Or... So why is this war so important? <laughs> To the big screen, Bernard Henri Levy shows the horror of Russia's invasion, the bravery of Ukrainian soldiers, and the suffering of the citizens. With this movie, he wants to call upon the democratic world to engage more in the support for Ukraine. Public opinion is crucial for warfare, a notion shared also by the Ukrainian ambassador to Israel, Yevgen Kornichuk, who attended the movie premiere. According to our polls, those news about the cruel war in Ukraine is out of the Israeli media. The vast majority of the Israelis supports Ukraine on this cruel and unprovoked. But the current support is not enough. Benoît Henri Lévy engages with the Ukrainian struggle for integration into the European community since the Orange Revolution 2004 that was triggered by fraudulent presidential elections. He paid several visits to Ukraine, sat down with Vladimir Zelensky right before his election as Ukrainian president in 2019. He invested efforts in the release of Ukrainian politician Yulia Tymoshenko from her arrest in 2014. Shortly after, he brokered a meeting between then French President François Hollande and Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. For his most recent documentary, it was important to him to get to Ukraine right after the Russian invasion started, in order to show the world that its support is desperately needed. What is at stake in this war of Ukraine goes much beyond Ukraine, much further. Uh, the West pretends to remain uh, just below the belligerence um, uh, activity, but in reality, it is a worldwide war. Thank you.